years, the Korean Superboy Duho Choi, the majority of his pro wins have come by first round knockout, something his opponent is acutely aware of coming in here tonight. Left hook to the head. Another shot to the head. His misses are entertaining. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice shot there by the jam. Nice leg kick. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Beautiful right hand over the top. And everything's landing with so much power. Oh, nice overhand left. Straight punch lands. Whiffs on that offering. The both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Able to block that one. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Oh, the leg kick lands. I'm spamming leg kicks if I'm playing the game. Oh, Superman punch. Nice jab. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Try to establish that jab. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. All right, gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. Nice defense to block the elbow. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Nice jab by Choi. Nice punch to the head. Great block there. Punches and punches, punches and punches, let's go! The whiffs on the right hand. Let's go. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Dig deep, dig deep. Choi gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. Oh, he lands another shot to the head. That's a big strike right there. Keep that pressure high now. And that one certainly found the target. That punch, no good. Less than a minute to go in the round. Guess the single collar tie now. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Both fighters throwing heat now. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Straight right is there. 20 seconds left. Lands a strike there. Final seconds of the round. He loaded up there on that high kick. Holy smokes.
All right, so a lot of highlights over those previous five minutes. DC, take us through the replay, if you will. A lot of good action, but punching led the dance. Punching was the thing that stood out to me. That allowed him to take control of the run. Ready to fight? Round two is on the way. All right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level mixed martial arts. Uh, huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow up shot, that will finish the fight. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Whiffs on the elbow. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Oh, hook to the head, Mike Shore. Bleeding now, nasty cut on his nose. Nice jab there by Choi. Big body to land. Oh, he got tagged something fierce there. Great combination. Big punch land. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. All right, well, that blow is fossiting from that cup with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red, is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit tall. You're a baller, man. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. He lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. And now some separation. Surely his forehead is bleeding now. Cut just opened up. Nice job defensively. He blocked that punch. Straight to the body by the Korean Super Bowl. Beautiful combination. 90 seconds to go in round two. Let's go. Let's get the tank down. Back and forth we go. Right, well, he's had his striking on point tonight, and as evidence, some swelling now on his opponent. Yeah, light swelling right now. But if he doesn't address it immediately, it'll turn to something much worse. Under a minute to go. Different round and the striking clinic continues. Shades of Max Holloway back in the day against Calvin Cater. Every strike he has thrown seemingly is finding the target. I mean, it's, it's landing. Everything is landing, J.A. And coming into this fight, he understood that he had an advantage in this particular skill. I don't know if he could have even expected.
expected it to be this vast as we have seen to this point in the fight. Well, you thought the cut man did his job, but that cut on the nose is just nasty, and it is pouring blood now. 15 seconds to go. Duels we go, and that is a really severe cut. So we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the screen. This is what happens to these very skilled, very easily match fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going to the next one. Oh, good block there. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. And now they're being thrown on both sides. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, doing work with the jab. Oh, big elbow. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really starting to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. Well, an incredible fight thus far. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. If you wondered about the heart on either side, that question was answered to nothing. There are no more questions in regards to these two fighters. Both of these men have been hurt. Both of these men are swollen. They're bloody. They're both, even though them, they're both willing and ready to continue this fight. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by the Korean Super Bowl. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. The Korean Super Boy gets hit with a kick. Anybody kick may finish his fight. It doesn't have to be the tough one up the middle. Choi's really taking aim at that cut right now, and hard to blame him, right? They might even call in the ringside physician. He is continuing to target that area. Oh, overhand to the dome. Man, that cut is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy's going to be busy. I don't know how many times you hit in the head and stay in this fight. Ooh, got to be careful taking too many of those leg kicks. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start check kicks. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. 90 seconds to go. Oh, he's bleeding like crazy, champ. The stream is steady. At what point do you at least call in the doctor to open up? You got to right now. I mean, right now, someone should be in here looking at how they could save this fighter from himself. Oh, and that 
punch elicited a reaction from the crowd. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Well, we may have the best cut men in the How about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, big left hand there. Big right hand. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. He missed with that jab attempt there. 15 seconds remain in the round. Push kick there to the body. And he comes through with a big knee. So far. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You gotta get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Choi's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Hands high, hands high. Big power shot there. Yep. Oh, and the left hand. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Back and forth we go. All right, big storyline starting to develop here. That cut really starting to gap wide open as this fight continues. And you can watch him. You see him. You can see it becoming his focus as he's popping him on that cut. And it's starting to open up more and more as the fight goes on. Right on the button. Just out of range with the big right hand. Just over three minutes to go. Well, the crowd continues to react with every passing land, but if you're the referee or even the corner, somebody's got to get involved in everything. Somebody's got to do something. It's getting very uncomfortable to watch this. And as the crowd gets excited, there's also a little bit of that. Yeah. I don't want to see any more going on in their reactions. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Choi swelling now around the jaw area, so we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Great job getting that kick home. Nice body kick. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Lands a shot to the leg. Oh, 
trying to go to the ball. Oh, 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 and now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you end the night, that will land it right on the spot. Well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Well, that overhand big weapon for him throughout his career, it's been there all night. Look for him to go back to it here. Big inside kick. Chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Tremendous body kick lands for this guy. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. 20 seconds to go. Well, he lands another strike there, DC. And no surprise, the swelling only getting worse. It's getting worse. You know, we talked about this very early. How he needed to change something. He hasn't changed it. And now the swelling is starting to get back. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four, 20 minutes in the books. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. All right, the action continues here, and now as our next round gets underway, and man, these guys still look fresh as if they haven't even started fighting tonight. Pretty impressive. Both of them have a huge reputation for being fit fighters, and it shows in the way they're approaching round number two. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Sets up that leg kick beautifully. He better check. That leg's getting beat up. Going to the body now with that hook. Whoa. Right there, he could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Oh, uppercut. Oh, with authority, the body. Oh, my goodness. All right, so the uppercuts have been a big part of the storyline in this one, but the setups have really been key for him. He's not telegraphing that strike, and the opponent hasn't been able to adjust. He has not been able to see them. It's a very tricky punch, especially in the way that he throws it. He throws it at a time when you expect so many different strikes, but it's because he has such a vast knowledge of just finding that strike. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. That's a strong punch to the head out of the clinch. Well, you see him.
cringing now as the body damage just continues to pile up. He hasn't made the adjustments, and I wouldn't even hate a stoppage here. No, I wouldn't hate a stoppage here. This guy's been beat up. Like, he hasn't adjusted at all. This started at the very start of the fight, and it continues to the point now that it seems as though it's an eventuality that this fight will be stopped due to body damage. Tremendous game plan, and it worked perfectly. Oh, oh he's stunned bad. He's got to grab him. He's got to recover. Two minutes now to go in this one. Good punches he's thrown on. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that's on the field, is the one that lands perfect. And that one landed perfect. Back and forth we go. Oh, he is hurting for certain. Jab by Choi. It is hard to hear ourselves on the headsets. This place is going on. It's one of the best spots of the year. Both men put it all on the line. Just really a sight to behold from minute one of this fight. Well, they told us. They both told us. Strap it. This is going to be one of the best fights you've ever seen. And boy, has it delivered. We have seen blood. We have seen hearts. We have seen spirit. We have seen these two lay it on the line against each other. But hey, it takes two to tango. We had the two right guys in the octagon tonight to produce. Oh, huge connection on the flying knee. Oh, big knee! Oh, he's in a world of trouble now. These guys are looking all over each other. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Oh, effective use of the jab by the Korean Super Bowl. Beautiful high kick. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. There you go. Stay tight. Stay tight. He's a double leg. Double leg. Time leg. winding double down. Leg. Final seconds of the fight. Oh, 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 oh. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat streak. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Choice lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50 45. Play the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion.